Hello guys, welcome to Expertise Academy. Today in Civil 3D, we're going to see uh, another little example on grading. So this is how to create a vertical wall. So we saw how to create a horizontal wall. So in this one, we will see probably both, you know, vertical wall as well as a horizontal wall. So how do we do it? Um, so first thing is, as I mentioned, you know, we need to have feature line in place uh, to create a grading. So the things that we need is a site, a grading group, a feature line. So that's all the three requirements to start doing gradings. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating a um, polyline and then convert to that into a feature line. So just go for polyline command PL. And uh, I can even choose an arc. Go back to line. And then close it. All right, so we got a polyline. So now I'm going to convert this into a feature line. So go to feature line, click on create feature line from object and then select the polyline, press enter. And uh, I'm going to call this one as um, water, just a name. So um, and then leave everything else. Make sure that you choose erase uh, existing entity, which will delete the polyline. OK, that's done. So now select your feature line and then you get the header on the top. So go back to elevation editor. So what I am planning to do here is sort of like a swimming pool um, where this is bit elevated compared to the existing ground surface. And then I will have a horizontal platform 10 meters right up here and then a vertical wall uh, inside and then there will be an infill. And then probably from the horizontal, I will have a grading outside. So just so we can complete the structure. All right, so let's um, go to the elevation editor and select all of them and then move them to top of the surface. So we pick the surface, click OK. So now every point is on top of the surface. Now, what we can also do is uh, now let's say if we actually move all the point to the surface. Now, all of these point may not be lying on a single plane. So if that is what you wanted, this should be fine. So let's say if you want all of these points to be above the surface, but at the same level, then you need to select all of them. And then you need to move to a certain value. So let's say the maximum value is uh, 447. So I'm going to change all of these value to 447. 447. So now all of these points are above the surface and then they are uh, at an elevation 447. So now that is done. So now you can select both of these and check it in object viewer. You can see it is on top of it. So if you go to the right. OK, so now we have created the uh, feature line. So this is uh, 447 uh, meters above the ground. And um, so now I just have to recreate the polyline, guys, because I got a crash in Civil 3D. So I have to recreate it. Uh, now it's we are at the same stage. Now, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a grading group and then start doing some gradings. So go back to grading. So you can click on grading creation tools. Uh, sorry, grading group. So I'm going to call this as water. And we don't have to create a surface at this point. Click OK. And then grading creation tools from left to right. So first button. So set your site and the group. Perfect. And then set your target surface. If you're going to do grading from the grading object to the surface, then we need to specify the surface. And then um, so now we can choose different options for this one. Let's say if you're going to create a horizontal platform or vertical platform, you have to choose an option that says relative elevation and distance, which is easier. You can also choose other ones, but this is a lot easier to create vertical platforms and horizontal. So choose this one. Click on create grading and I'm going to create a horizontal platform first. Select it. I'm going to choose a side to be outside. And I want it for the entire length. Yes. And then a relative elevation from this point. If you're going to create a horizontal platform, the point where it's going to create the feature line should be same as the elevation as this line. So it sh you cannot apply zero. So make sure that you give 0 0.01. So that is still close to zero. And then the distance from this point, how far you want the line to be created. So that's the length of the uh, horizontal platform. So I'm going to give 10 meters. So that's done. So next I'm going to choose the same option. I'm going to click on the feature line again. And this time I'm going to uh, select the grading side to be inside. And it is for the entire length. 
and this time the relative elevation uh, from this point I want a vertical wall so that means the second line will be created right underneath this this line so I'm gonna give let's say minus 50 so if you give a positive value then the wall will be uh, above this line so if you give minus value it will be below this line so minus 50 and the distance right now so if you want a vertical wall so you cannot apply zero because the second line should be pretty much close to what we have here so it should be like a vertical wall so you cannot apply zero so I'm going to give it as 0 0.01 that's for the tin creation guys so if you want to have triangulation then you need to make sure that you don't have perfectly horizontal and perfectly vertical uh, structures so then you can create tins okay so now that is done you may not able to see it I'll show you in a minute and then we can create infill just go inside click and then you create an infill let's say if you want to do a grading outside you can choose surface at grade percentage or slope click on create grading choose the feature line and then do you want it for the entire length yes and then the if you want it to be steeper then give a, back, a maximum value so I'm gonna say it could be 80 percentage and the fill grading let's say 80 percentage and there we go so that's done so now close this uh, flyer toolbar now select your structure alone right click go to object viewer so let's change the view from 3d wireframe to realistic and then here we go so we have a vertical wall okay so let's say if I select both of these and go to object viewer you can see this is what we have here and um, so right now if you can see the surface is in the middle so if you wanted to uh, the surface to dig through it so then we need to create something like a design surface for that you select your grading go to your grading group properties and then uh, under information there is a surface creation for the grading group this will create a surface for the entire grading group select it that's fine name should be okay click OK and then we got the surface created so now if you select your surface go to object viewer and you got a beautiful surface created okay so that's done so next is um, we're gonna create a design surface so I'm gonna click on uh, uh, surface create surface I'm gonna call this as final surface I'm gonna give it as magenta triangulation just a different style if it's all contours then it's hard to uh, you know distinguish them expand your final surface expand your definition edits and then uh, click on paste surface paste your base surface first which is your natural surface and that's done go back again paste surface and then the grading group surface that's done so now you can hide your grading group surface so I'm going to surface properties and go to the surface style there should be one which says no display click OK and that's sorted so now if we select your design surface go to object viewer you can see your design surface is created ok alright guys so that's it for uh, creating a vertical wall uh, using grading tools so if you have any questions let me know uh, so probably I'll do a few more videos um, under civil 3d itself and then I will switch gears on um, doing some uh, survey database and then um, civil 3d plugin development AutoCAD plugin development we'll do some more videos in there as well all right thanks guys catch you later